No, we're, we're really live. Hello. Hello. And welcome. Why is there like a black bar and then... Oh, we really have to give up using your computer for cameras. Can you <laughs> turn on the light in the bathroom while you're there? Both lights in the bathroom while you're there. Hello, guys. Welcome to Pitch Night. Um, it's on this side. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, just pick up the camera. Welcome to Pitch Night. Hello and welcome to Pitch Night, the premier TV show, Pitch Stream TV show. And I think we've expanded the TV show and film. It's the leading Kind one. of subtly. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I say premiere. Morgan says leading. Are we sure doing which... this? Does this come live from the bathroom? Yes, it does. Yeah, turn on the fan. Here's the fan. <laughs> Should I flush the toilet so they can hear that? Uh, if you like, but... Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. This is, uh... So we still have a bit of a framing issue. Uh, not so much a framing issue uh, on the camera end as on the uh, OBS end. Guys, welcome to Pitch Night, the premiere TV show and film pitch stream right here on Kick and Twitch. Maybe I'll say hello. Maybe I won't. Um, we're shooting here from the studio location, which is very exciting, having Morgan here. Yeah. Um, it's never happened before. Oh. I'm excited. I think Morgan's excited. Yeah, just use the bathroom. He just used the bathroom. Yeah. It's right. It's so convenient. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really convenient. Yeah. yeah. We don't... Uh, so... No privacy. No need to um, miss out on any pictures. No. In, this in time, fact, which we're, usually when we do a pitch, we're like, oh, I'm going to go and brush my teeth and take a shit. This time, yes. we are actually going to brush our teeth and take a shit with the door open, okay. leaving a pitch. That's how it's Another going. penalty to Morgan. <laughs> yes. Yes. But the point stands, it's a good, and it's a good point. It's, um, well... Let's do an intro. How let's about intro. that? Because we missed out on that last time. Oh, yeah. Let's do an intro. Ready? Is this mine? And yes. Okay. So that was our intro. Well, that's fast. It's fast. It's a fast paced show. It's a fast paced show. It's a good show. It's a welcome show. And we're out of material. So we're... let's. Well, let's give, a, let's, give a, let's give an overview of the structure. So this is a pitch show. Uh, you yeah. can, it's called Pitch Night. You can scan the QR code yep. and submit your pitch ID idea for like a TV show or like a movie or a cartoon or something like that. And then you follow the steps and call us up and uh, pitch your idea. And we'll give you some comments. We'll give you some criticisms and uh, who knows, maybe we'll go further. Yeah. Well, we got a hundred dollars on the line now, Morgan. Um, we do. So there is a little something. Um, yeah, but that yeah. was a great introduction. Thank you. We also have some curtain in today's shot. Uh, which yeah. is a happy addition. We don't often... Not a green curtain, unfortunately. If it was a green curtain, yeah, that's you true. wouldn't see it. You know, we, what we should have just done is... Hang. I was going to say just cover it with a green screen, but it's stupid. Not a funny idea or a good idea. Um, can we correct this? Can so we currently we have like that little black... We can't correct this. Ah. We have... It's like a little celluloid over the... We gotta use, stop using your computer. It, the camera's never stable for some reason. It's not my computer. It's, it's your computer. It's it doesn't happen happiness. on. It doesn't happen on my computer. Anyway, guys. Um. Whoa. Whoa. I'm excited. So we got a Brock. We got <laughs> Brockbusters. Should we recap the Brockbusters from last week? You want to get straight to Brockbusters? Well, I. We never get the answers, and I feel like, in the same way with the crossword puzzle, you get the answers the following week with the new crossword you should get the answers to the previous week's blockbusters and then we go into this week's blockbusters see my idea would be that it would be far more satisfying um to, to never know what the answers are ever to have the answers at the time that we get a correct guess and so the hope would be that we would have we would at some point in the future be able to recap a history of answers as solution as correct um responses are given and so people aren't it's probably down the line responses to the past blockbusters uh, i think the current one they don't have any incentive they only get money with the current one yes i think that's has to be the case otherwise it's very difficult <laughs> to budget things um but i would say that if you can get in if if people are interested by the blockbusters concept and i'm thinking 
by the by, unrelated to this, maybe I'll turn the aircon on because I'm starting to sweat. Um, that we could, uh, if people are engaged in the Brockbusters, then it they is, might be interested warm. in the history of Brockbusters. It is warm. Where it is, is warm. How can I turn the aircon on? Uh, it's in the. It may be just easy for me to do. It. It's in the kitchen. Um, is that all right if I do it? I'll be very quick. If you would like to try, you're more than welcome. Do you want to try turning the aircon on? Well, yes, I just <laughs> suggested it may be better for me to do no, it. I'm asking the viewer. Oh, yeah. Yes, you too. Uh, that would be a very disturbing development. Yeah. Um, chat, type in the chat where you want us to go, which room and what buttons to press, and we will just do it indiscriminately. Yes. Whatever you ask, we will do it. You know what? We should probably check the levels. That's a good idea. Uh, we haven't done that. Well, I'm going to check the levels okay, while that's you uh, go and do the aircon. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, let's see. I can't tell which of your earphones is the one that works. There is no sound at all. Oh, there we go. No, that's fine. Oh, the butterfly's not playing. Jesus Christ. Well, we got the aircon. Now we got Spotify in the background. I don't know what that song was, but it was not good. I forgot to turn Spotify on, so... Oh, okay, I thought I'd press play on. That didn't work. No, I didn't switch to black hole. Oh, okay. Too complicated. Yeah. But the levels sound good. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm happy. Aircon's on. We could try um, a microphone, if we're interested, a different microphone, but certainly if we're interested. I think there's aircon's too cold. We have a... I think we should turn it. Oh, no. So submit your pictures, scan the QR code, uh, submit the Google form, join the Discord channel, uh, and then submit your pitch, and then... Uh, we'll call you up and then whenever we don't have anything to say it's just instructions and recap recaps the format um okay. i got lots to say i got lots to say yeah by all um, means um, can we take a break come uh, back what morgan's got to say Brock first thing that's coming up with things to say wait we got someone chatting to us and i can't see it's behind your head all yeah this is always hello no say english what do you do? like? No, join, say English. Join a channel that speaks English. I don't know what to say. This is oh, really okay. Is this channel. Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Sam speaks Spanish, actually. I but... speak some Spanish. If you speak Spanish, yeah, we'll just change, based on what you said we'll and also your name. Entire... Seems like it could be Spanish or uh, Portuguese. Yeah, we'll change the entire show to suit this one person. We're gonna do it. In Why Spanish. not? Uh, I mean, Pablo, uh, Inglés. Uh, okay. You said it in Spanish. So, it's a weird thing to say in Spanish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Move, move your head, it's in the way. Solo Espanol Argentino. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, let's do it in Spanish. Um, uh, uh, submit the pitch, por favor. Uh, si, uh, si, uh, tiene un... <laughs> Pitch de por uh, televisión o film. película. Uh, película. What is película? Uh, film, I think. Uh, wow. Por favor. Uh, siguiente. Uh, QR code. Siguiente. Uh, el QR code. <laughs> and uh, el. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, no, I think it could be QR. Oftentimes, when uh, yeah, a, but a the word face comes, that you're making like <laughs> well, I'm getting into the the accent. The only way I get into the character. accent. What character is this? <laughs> it's not a character. You goddamn sombrero. <laughs> yeah, it was better. Ah, oh, perfecto. <laughs> Sigue el QR code. Oh, eh, alternativamente, eh, sigue el link. Eh, <laughs> Uh, tras de in the description. Oh, perfecto. Okay, that's my Spanish. Apologies that if good. that was offensive. That was pretty good. Yeah, I I'm kind of got somewhere yeah. towards it. If you asked me to do French, I would not be able to do anything. Okay. Don't request French. Argentina, very exciting news in Argentina recently. Oh, really? 
the election of a new uh, uh, is prime minister there. Yeah, Aguante Messi is the prime minister. No, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. <laughs> that's great. Um, I don't know what he that was. Not a footballer, right? What? Footballer Messi. Messi, yeah. Now the prime minister of Argentina. Yeah, but I don't know. No. no that's yeah, that's incorrect. That's a that's a jump. But you know, it's been done before. You know, the what? governator Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. bodybuilder, movie star, politician. You know, Trump, TV star, politician, yeah. real estate magnate. Now, Lionel Messi, soccer player, football player, depending on you know your preference. Yep. Prime Minister. Uh, am I correct in thinking that Messi is an Argentinian? I don't watch soccer, so. <laughs> also coming up on this stream. He wrote Messi. Trying out a no, new he is, he is Argentinian. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. I know that must be sacrilege then. Yeah, to say. yeah you've just not only oh, have God. you ridiculed and uh, disowned their best footballer, yeah. but you've also disowned their prime minister. Okay. Appalling. Well, Appalling. Yes. Anyway. And welcome to Pitch Night. This is uh, the leading pitch show on uh, Twitch and Kick. Yeah. 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 Where we insult all, countries that all, we've never been to. Have all you been to Argentina? I have been to Argentina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have. Okay. How was it? Uh, well, I've only really seen, I think, well, I've seen a bit of it. Buenos Aires, I spent some time in. Um, Buenos Noches? It's another Spanish phrase. No, the city. No. Uh, you might have alternatively said Buenos Aires. Messi played football, yeah. He played football, uh, and now he played We know he's politics. a footballer, we're yeah. just not up on football. And I actually watched the Beckham documentary. <laughs> So what a thing! <laughs> that was. <laughs> oh, I, do know I didn't even notice we changed subject there. <laughs> no, we're not as much on our football as we should be. Given it, and we probably I should be. We should be what? Well, Matildas, the Australian women's football team. Yeah, lost. Extremely competitive. Yeah, and lost. They competed and lost. Let's, they, let's... they came very close. Uh, I think they? Com competitive suggests that loss is possible. They're just uh, within the inbred shot. What did they lose by? Is this on OBS? 2-0. They didn't even get one. What? 2-0. Uh, yes. They were defeated. Was it England who beat them? Uh, I don't know which one we're talking about, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. But they did beat the Philippines 8-0, which is crazy. Yeah, so they well... They matched the Philippines. Yeah, well... I don't know if that's a now, the material great reflection on... Uh, politician Messi. That's a match I'd like to see. Okay, he's not. He's not. I don't know how to engage with this joke. He is not the prime. We're minister. just beating the dead dog. The dead horse. It's the yeah, it's run its course. I think. Um, welcome. I don't know what aguente means. Aguente. We can look it up. Yeah. Is this? It, it sounds something to do with water. Aguente. Messi. I don't. Yeah. This. What does it say? What, what does it mean? I don't know. Just go to the Spanish English translation. Um, I mean, that's hello and welcome to Pitch Night. There, we do have a tendency to just completely abandon what we didn't have to say. Hold um, on, Messi. Or... I don't know what hold on, Messi means then. Well, it probably doesn't translate well literally, I would guess. Or, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I know the Ballon d'Or. Uh, hang in there, Messi. Hang in there, Messi. Ah. I don't know what that refers to. I don't, I don't know the context. Oh, do you do? No. Okay, um, guys, we do. Uh, should we go to a transition? Let's do let's go to a break. Let's come back. Quick transition on pitch night. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> I left you smiling to... way too long. Yes, you did. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Pitch Night, premier TV show and film. Pelicula. Um, Pelicula. <laughs> Pelicula. Uh, stream right here on Kicking Twitch. Welcome again, Messi. Do, 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 do. Hold on, Messi. Hold on. We don't know why, but hold on. Um, hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Yeah, Messi. we don't know why, yeah. but hang in there. Well, um, he's going through a tough time. Are you going to say the prime minister thing again? No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it back there. Um, I'm off. I'm off screen. Um, um, uh, Morgan, what's been going on? 
Uh, 15 minutes in. 15 minutes Haven't in, really yeah. had a catch up. No. Morgan was in Alice Springs. It was. We've been, um, been there, done that. Yeah. Last, but, last stream. You want to read into that topic? Well, uh, not necessarily. I think your but instincts you... are right that you potentially don't necessarily want to cover things twice. But I was just going to say, I thought that was so interesting relative to what we usually come up with. Maybe we would find if we could send Morgan other places. Not that we didn't <laughs> Send him away. All right, a bit loopy on studio stream this week. But Get him out yeah. of here. A bit fresh. Take him a bit away. weird. Take him Coffee. away. So the idea is, you, our viewers, our beloved viewers, <laughs> uh, whether in English or, or Espanol, or Espanol uh, uh, we'll, we'll give you a link and you can vote and submit your uh, uh, options for where I might go and visit. And then, um, if you'd like, you can also pay for me to... <laughs> no, no, we can't ask for that. We can ask, they can yeah. always not do it. No, I think ask. it's better to just suggest, to say, Australia. If they won't pay, then by all means. I think the clearer way would be this is such Anywhere a misleading it's... thing that looks exactly like a cookie. It's not a cookie. It's not a cookie. It's so natural. A cookie, put, put it up to the camera. It's, it's natural. It's rice cake with peanut butter and sultanas on it. Yeah, natural peanut butter, but I'm, I'm still worried it's not healthy. Uh, like added, well, 100% natural as opposed to like added things. I hope it's healthier, but to be honest, I eat them in a quantity that it is probably unhealthy, whatever is in it. How much is that? Mm, let's say more than twice a day. One of those twice a day. I really... It doesn't seem that excessive. What? More than twice a day. One of those. Yeah. That's barely any peanut butter. I said more than twice a day. How many is more? Like eight? <laughs> you would assume at least not one. Or you're saying that each one doesn't have a lot of peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like, if you uh, multiply that by two, it's still not a lot of peanut Alright, we get bogged down. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's well, much more than that's two... What that's, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. Anyway, what it have you be been like? Could be a cookie. Could be a cookie. Could be a cookie. What do you I'm been heading up? to Melbourne, actually, tomorrow. Morgan moves to Melbourne. Fantastic. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah. What, what, what takes you to Melbourne? Uh, we've got a friend visiting from America. He's going to Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, also go to Melbourne. Okay. Simple. Simple. Easy to understand. Yeah. Um, easy to get on board with. I like it. I don't like Melbourne. Okay. <laughs> right into the dig. What's wrong with Melbourne? I like Melbourne. Do you? Mm. Well, good. Then you can give me some tips because clearly I've done it wrong. Everyone loves Melbourne. It's freezing. You put this aircon on like four degrees. <laughs> yeah, it is cold. What's wrong with Melbourne? Melbourne well, is what do you in like the Melbourne? south of Australia. What? What do you like about Melbourne? Now he's left a huge gap in this thing from the wind. The, the aircon wind. <laughs> um, what do you like about Melbourne? Melbourne has beautiful streets. That, what does that even mean? Like the road looks nice? What? The road, the path. It's got, it's, so it's a, pl it's, um, good quality road. I was going to say it's a planned Few city, potholes. but I'm saying that just because I know the streets to be the grid structure, yeah. um, perhaps most um, readily associated with Manhattan. Mm -hmm. um, but not only are they the grid structure, they're broad streets, beautiful trees, nice shop windows and fronts. I don't know what, if, if you're, a, if you're a, an urbanite, a metropolitanite, I think it's an okay idea. Cosmopolitanite? If you're a cosmopolitan kind of person, why not? So name some places. Maybe I've gone to the wrong place. Uh, Melbourne. Yeah. Um, Adelaide. Name some places uh, within Melbourne. Kilimanjaro. To go. What? Name some good places to visit within Melbourne. Um, Collins Street. Um, Trafalgar Square. Uh, Park Lane. Uh, These are Monopoly streets. Chance. That one's a good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Jail. that's actually Jail. underrated. Jail's quite highly recommended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, should we go to a break and come back? Pellicula. Movie. On Twitch night, Movie back to... Movie is pellicula. Yeah, no, that's why I said it. 
I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, I didn't think about that. Um... I don't have access to everything that's going on. Hmm. What other languages can you speak? English, I'm okay at. Yep. I write it too. Oh. Sometimes. Double threat. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking I of can, writing. I can sing as well. In English. Oh. Do you want to give us a quick demo? Mild purple lady trapper. <laughs> Gotta be careful, I don't know what those words mean. Still, oh, still a double okay. threat. Let's say let's say speaking and writing. <laughs> let's leave singing off. Singing might be a bit of a reach. Um let's, let's move listening. In. Listening, I listen okay. I listen okay. Yeah. Um, not, not great, not wonderfully, but you know, possibly. Yeah. Yes. Like, are, not to do with English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but peanut butter. Peanut butter is an English word, so. I eat it. Okay. Should, should we move on to some TV and film? I would love to move on. All right. Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to think of things that I've watched recently. Oh, I watched the Super Mario Brother movie. Okay. That was horrible. <laughs> Awful. If I'm thinking of the right one, is this with Chris? Chris Pratt. Pratt? Yeah. There was a lot of hype. Yeah. Um, and... Exceptionally bad. I'm just thinking this maybe isn't the greatest place for the chat. Yeah. Um uh, maybe we leave it, because I'm not sure what would be better. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's better. Um <clears throat> What was I gonna say? Yeah, there was a lot of hype. Yeah. Um I thought there was a lot of enthusiasm for the movie as well. But you're saying it's bad. It was terrible. No, yeah, that's a shame. Terrible. I don't know. It's about these black bars. Sometimes we get focused on. Oh, that's that. Sometimes the gifs just have black. No, it's really fun. What? There we go. That's oh, cool. no. Um, yeah. So the cast is also really weird. So you had Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, Anya Taylor Joy as uh, Princess Peach. Mm -hmm. Guess who Donkey Kong is? Merv Griffin. Who? No. I've seen your whole Seth Rogen. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, is that what you think of when you think of Donkey Kong? That's, he's Donkey Kong. He is Donkey Kong. Hmm, okay. And Bowser? Seth Rogen has done a lot of very good work. I think it would be unfair to say what? otherwise. Like what? Um, Pineapple Express? Hated it. You hated it? Yeah. Well, mm, what else? Okay, That's, that would be divisive. It's, it's a very popular film. Okay, let me think. What else? Let me think. You put me on the spot here. Was he in Freaks and Geeks? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. That is one of the greatest TV shows of all time. So, I think just by saying that, in my books, I'm completely satisfied with my early totally point. qualified to be Donkey Kong. Mmm... It, it also just depends. Like, performance Bowser was good. Like performance. Jack Slack. It's pretty good, actually. Okay. Good choice. Okay. Yeah. It's and interesting that we do with Charlie Day. Who okay. is Charlie on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Right, okay. You're a fan of that. I am. He wasn't great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, because everyone was not great. It was just a bad movie. Right. It was bad. Yeah. What, what's it about? Do you want to give us a quick synopsis? No. Mario. Okay. Mario. Um, I just had a bunch of like, like, oh look, this is like the scene where you're playing Mario from the side. Oh look, this is like the scene from Super Smash Brothers. Oh look, this is like the scene from like Mario Kart. Oh look, this is like... So it seems like it was just um, kind of pandering to the fans. Yeah. Which a lot of these things can get into. Like I would say um, Star Wars seems to be kind of doing oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? It's difficult, it's difficult, because uh, obviously there's a commercial interest and clearly it works, so. <laughs> Should we move on? Sounds like we've kind of run aground in that. Yeah. Yeah. Bit, it's a bit messy. depressing, yeah. it seems. Um, Want to talk about it, dot com, I think. If, uh, what? If, if you come depressed around. About, depressed about Mario Brothers? Yeah. That's probably not the review the that, they, not that all. they wanted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this show will... <laughs> Okay, anyway. Um, <clears throat> do you want to go to a break and come back? Love to go to a break. We should.
Anyway, and welcome back to Pitch, Pitch Night, Night. Uh, premier TV show. Um, so what have you watched recently? Pitch stream right here on Kicking Twitch. I've been watching Too Hot to Handle. Is that is that the one where they're not allowed to have handle? They're not allowed to handle. They're not allowed to handle each other. Yep. And then they get a fine if they do. Yep. Which season are you watching? I'm watching the first season. I'm still watching the first season. I've seen the whole of the first season. It was okay. Pretty good actually. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that it's it's kind of um, that it's that good. Yeah, so I want to explain myself because reality it's TV good. shows aren't really something I would have watched. Uh, before, but ever since The Devil's Plan, which is also on Netflix, all I have is Netflix, so unfortunately that's what I'm limited to. Um, I've been on a reality TV uh, show bent, and it's been The Devil's Plan, The Circle, and now Too Hot to Handle. And I think with Too Hot to Handle, so this is the premise, you get a lot of beautiful um, people on an island, and they go, all go there expecting that they aren't going to that they're going to be able to have physical relationships and the rule is you get penalized for any physical any um intimate contact um from a prize uh, amount of hundred thousand dollars um and i think what's frustrating you know, or, or makes me a little conflicted is that um it seems like such a superficial premise and yet you do see a lot of like supposed uh character transformation where are you up to uh i'm just about to finish season one have you met that guy who lives on a boat yeah yeah uh bright bryce what is with him man what that can't be real like that's gonna be a, like a joke that the, the producers are playing or something in what way what what about like everyone else on the show is like doesn't live on a boat doesn't live on a boat first of all and they're like they're, you know, most of them are pretty attractive. Mm. And then Bryce comes in. Like halfway through the season, he comes in. He doesn't even, he's not even there at the start. He comes in halfway through. Mm. For like no reason we're going to add someone extra. And by the way, he lives on a boat. He's not nearly the caliber of everyone else there. And he's trying to claim that he like sleeps with like three men overnight. And in the first episode he's there, he starts playing keyboard in front of everyone. <laughs> like, not even piano, keyboard. And uh, everyone's not even like, piano. Like, <laughs> well, like, well let, let's let's take issue with this. Probably, One, personal he's attacks probably was like the wrong. producer's cousin or something that was like insisting he be on the show. Oh, and yeah. The producer like owed a favor or something, like had to throw him on. And then there was this totally like made up relationship between him and one of the other chicks on there where like she was into him but then they didn't even like make out or do anything um uh okay clearly it was never there is a happen. rebuff coming and i think it's a solid one okay so as a headline okay so we're gonna go to brockbusters unbelievable today. as a headline uh i don't think we need the personal attacks that's not but two he puts himself on reality tv show you're gonna get talked about two to, to, to the point of your personal criticism, um, I would say, uh, based on the reactions of the people on the island, they were actually, they actually considered him to be a quite an attractive person. Yeah, and that's not further to real the point, reality TV show, they, they have to craft it. So, okay, let's, I don't, imagine, I don't, let's imagine, why, I don't know how you could have that. Cousin, let's imagine you're my cousin and I'm the producer. And yeah, obviously it's possible. Owe, uh, owe a favor, so I, you, I, you make me get me on your show. I'm not gonna let you flounder there, and everyone's just like, "Who the fuck is this guy playing his fucking keyboard and living on a boat?" Like, we're gonna have to try and make it seem like he's like. Let me put to some of the participants. Let me put this out there: that sometimes your perceptions of beauty, yeah, are not those held by others. Oh, they absolutely are. Okay. I have a flawless perception. Perception and absolutely like I think up. sometimes you can be surprised by what other people find uh, attractive or beautiful. And based on what I saw on the show, I've got no reason to suspect that um, any of it um, is acted or hammed up. Really? Obviously, it's possible. I've got no reason. I've, I've not sensed that. Based on what I saw, people would generally thought he was a good looking guy. And, and the 
person in question who did not kiss him, whose name is Chloe, also didn't kiss another contestant. So just because she didn't kiss him would have to mean, assuming your theory is correct, that the other guy was also a plant. No. I he think didn't it's play possible. keyboard and live on a boat. <laughs> What's, he's an entertainer. What's wrong with that? Okay, let's go to Brock He's Buster. playing a keyboard. It, look, if you play piano or like violin or like saxophone or something and you play it really People well, like musicians. I, they love keyboardists. What's wrong with keyboardists? The only thing keyboard. that's more attractive and more like like turning on than a keyboardist is someone who plays the recorder. All right, Brian. You remember he... the recorder, the plastic thing? That you played in third grade. I remember what the court beep, 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 Bryce, beep, if you're watching, beep, beep. please call up um, because we can't hear you. Um, well, we can hear you very quietly, so you're going to have to yell. Uh, please call up because I'm on your side. I think you're a real person. Uh, I think he's a real person. And I, I think also think plant. that I don't think plant. you're a plant. Okay, should we go to Brockbusters? Love to go to Brockbusters. Halfway through, Brock, halfway through the stream. Yeah. Uh, let's go to a quick break, come back. On can we show a photo of Bryce and get the audience to decide? Uh, or is, it, is that too harsh? They can look up Bryce if they want to. But the point is, it's not about the photo. It's not about the photo. Like, physically, okay, cool. He looks how he looks. I don't actually remember how he looks. But watch the scene where he plays the keyboard. Then make so Your decision. only issue is that he plays the keyboard and he's, uh, a, he's a showman. That's his seduction technique. Uh, I don't, I, he's I talking about how he sleeps with three girls a week. On, he lures three girls a week to his boat. To his boat, and he does know. that by playing the keyboard. I'm sorry, there's no fucking way. Okay, Bryce, if you're interested no in Morgan, you're gonna have to come up with a different tack. All right, let's go to a break. And come back. Would you? Would you? Would you sleep with someone who played the keyboard to seduce you, and then go on the, their boat? I'm not sure if he's seducing them, but he's you know he's putting himself out there. He's decently good at it. And uh, I think it, it could be charming. I can see it. I don't. I don't see what the issue is. That's. There's not. I. I. It's totally credible to me that uh, people enjoy that and that he wasn't a plant. Let's go to. I don't think we're going to see eye to eye on this. Let's. Oh, I'm pitch night. That's how Morgan <laughs> wins. He has the control. <laughs> and he cuts me off. I'm oh, pitch night. All right. So um, we're going to do a recap. Buses. Do you want I'd to love read? to recap Brockbusters. So Brockbusters are a little quizzical quiz. It's like a super cryptic crossword, but without the crossword. Hello, Eric. I just saw that. <laughs> so, Eric? What? Sorry. He said his name was Eric. Where? Uh, oh. Where is it? Um, my name is Eric. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, there's three... Um... Cryptic clues? Each clue has a different... So there's three... TV shows or movies, and each movie or TV show has uh, two hints. You get the initials, yep. so the first letters of uh, the show or film, and you get a clue. Yep, that's correct. Do, do we want to recap last week? Yeah, let's recap last week. Not that it's... I'll recap last week, week and then you can recap this week. Okay. So... We'll put it, we'll put them up on the um, screen afterwards. Yeah. In a so moment. last week, uh, the first film or TV show started with the letter A, one word, and the clue was trouble many billions of years. Very good. Not grammatically correct. It is grammatically matter. correct. How is that grammatically correct? Okay, so your problem is the word trouble, presumably. Yeah. Okay, so what forms can the word trouble take? And the main one. Right, which is what? When it's spelled trouble. And it's a noun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so can it take other forms? Yeah, it can be a verb. Okay. Yeah. Well, now does it seem grammatically incorrect? Yeah. Okay. Wait, if I replace, Let's move that, on if I replace that with another now verb, like run. Run many billions of years. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. It's just it's because... A... Let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Second... Uh, God. Uh, first letter S... Uh, and the first letter of the second word is D, so S D. First word of the second letter is D. <laughs> first letter of the second word. S and D are the initial. S and D. And the clue is the the pontoon barely grazed them. Yep. The third movie or film 
uh, or TV show, because films and movies are pretty much the same thing. Uh, starts with the letter H, one word, letter H. This is last week, so... Hang on. But I put it right here in my dot, dot, dot. dot. Okay, that's on... Oh, just... two dots, sorry. Not three dots, one. Yeah. So uh, that was last week's. It's on It's on our Twitter. It's on our Twitter. We should note. Yeah. This week's will be in our Twitter in about three minutes time. Yep. Once Sam has read them out. Yep. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. Um, so this is Brock Lux's 23, very exciting. We're really in the swing of it now. We are. Um, I think they're getting um, more coherent and solvable, which is satisfying. Are they? For a, for a I'll, I'll, I'll see. Okay, well, you need to be able to get them to be able to determine that. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so Brock Lux's 23, TV show or film, initials for the first one, B, B. So that means that the first letter of the first word starts with B. But we exclude the, the first letter of the second word also starts with B, and there are two words. Yeah, I don't know if that helps, but yes. Just just thought I'd throw my two cents. You really got that QR code in the middle, don't you? Do you want it not in the middle? Why not? I want what you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised that you... <laughs> Alright, didn't... Okay, anyway, what, or maybe that was hiding the, um, this guy last time. Yeah, that's why it was there. Oh, okay, that was it for this time. Um, what was it, what was it going to say? I don't know. <laughs> BB. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, no, no. Okay, so the, we give you all the initials. Yeah. But we don't in the initials aren't included like things like the and and. and what all. are you serious? Because that rules out so many TV shows. Then. Oh come on, that makes it so. Much I don't know. I don't think you it know? makes it that much harder because the, you should be able to get the substance of the the film t- or TV show title from the clue. The Blues Brothers. Yeah. What? No, that's not the name of the movie. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think. What do you don't think? I hope you know what the name is. <laughs> I know the name of this one. Anyway, uh, okay, so this one, BB. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I'm open to considering otherwise on that, but I think. Is that the clue? It... I'm open to considering otherwise on that? No. No, no. no. okay, so What's BB the is the initials. Clue um, is? The clue is the Quietened Baron. Okay? The Quietened. The Quietened Baron. All right. So, qu- quietened? Quietened. Uh, quiet. It's another grammatically incorrect one according to Morgan. No, no, I'm just saying I'm pronouncing it poorly. Okay, okay. <laughs> you pronounce it then. The quietened, Darren. Quietened? No, I don't think so. Well, it's not quietened. What? It's not quietened. You're missing the quiet. You're missing a whole syllable there. All right, let's come back quiet, to it. You're quiet, like shh. Quietened. The quiet. Do you want to do it on Chrome? Baron. Let's get Chrome to yeah. um, tell us. What do you mean? Actually, I need to hear it. Because you can bring up a word. Oh, you're going to need to do it on there. It's not going to go through properly. What? Why not? Oh, you want to do it like that? Yeah. Okay. Quietened. No, oh, assuming. Quietened is quietened. It's not quietened. So quiet. I, am I not going to hear this because you only have um, Spotify? I'll do it again. And be quiet. But that's just quiet. Okay, it's not quiet and it's not the whole thing. What? It's not the full word. Um. Oh, do you want to solve something quickly in our OBS? Thank you for the follow, Agwen. Ag- can you tell me how to pronounce that? I'm gonna look that Eric. up. Eric. <laughs> it's pronounced Eric. Can we get our um uh, our follow out of the um out of whatever group it's in? Because currently we can't see the follows. Although it's possible. What? Um, so in our bot tricks overlay, that wasn't oh gosh at you by the way. Can we remove? Um, oh, it's already out. Okay, so it must be that we just don't have it. Okay, go to. No, it's not chat. It's not chat. Not I'm again. not talking about chat. Oh. Nah, follows are different. Oh no, we don't have follows. On. We don't have follows in here. We should have. Okay, I'll do it later then. Um, okay, thank you for the follow, um, Eric. And we, we just got, oh, again too, so, no, no, quite, yeah, we, let's go, we'll break, go, go. you got to stop saying Hello. that on Facebook Live when we're on the break, because the microphones are off, they can't hear you. Yeah, stop, stop cutting me off when I'm halfway through things in the solution. <laughs> you, you started saying it when I'd already cut, <laughs> welcome back to Pitch Night, uh, the most professional pitch show on Pitch and Kick. Yeah, okay, let Run me. Run from the bathroom. Yeah, okay. You can't tell we're in the bathroom. Oh, you're right. 
Okay, let me let me. Oh, yeah, I can't get the past tense. No, it doesn't put the quiet past tense. But you're right. It, it is quieting. Oh, I don't. It doesn't sound as nice. I gotta say, but yeah, obviously. Yeah, because quiet is a different word. So yeah, well, I know quiet, that. Yeah, it then... just sounds so poor. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have chosen if I knew that that was. Okay. Anyway, prop buster is number two. You can change the clue. Ah, oh, kind of. Prop buster is number two. CT are the initials. And the and the the cryptic clue is proxy hatch is Panasonic. Morgan's unsatisfied with that one. Proxy hatch is Panasonic, and the and the uh, the initials there are C and T. Cool. They are not getting easier. I think that one is easier. It's at least valid. <laughs> <laughs> the solution can be found from the anyway, uh, and the final one are. Murphy goes Madison. Murphy goes Madison. All right, awesome. So we should mention, I'll, po I'll post those now. Um, we should mention, Morgan, do you want to talk about the prizes? Love to talk about prizes, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Um, Australian dollars. How do, you, how do you submit your answers? You submit your answers through the any kind of DM. Just DM. DM us wherever you find us. DM. Discord. On Discord. Do you want to bring up our... Twitter. Those are the main two. Do you want to bring up... Probably Pitch and Kick you can... Uh, twi Twitch and Kick, no sorry. Pitch. You're right. Twitch and Kick you can probably DM there as well. Yeah. Wherever you want. Yeah, wherever you can find us. As long as I find... Mail it. If you like. Yeah. If you know where we live. Pop a letter in our mailbox directly yourself. PO box. Tap us on the shoulder when we're next buying a, a coffee. Just whisper in our ear. Uh, there's many ways. Smoke signals. Rosebud. Morse code. I wish I hadn't done that. What did you say? I said rosebud, but I'm not a huge fan of um, whispering in general. All right. You're not going to put those whispering. Yeah, I don't like it. What is rosebud? Sound. Doesn't know what Rosebud is. No, that should be a clue for, for next week's what is Brock Rosebud? Busters. Um, guys, we're going to put... So the Brock Busters are on the um, Twitch. Uh, sorry, on the Twitter. We're going to show them on the screen now. It's so you, bold. In case you're... Uh, we're cold over here. Uh, in case you you want to see them. Um, Morgan. Wow. Halfway through. Fantastic. More than halfway through. Can, is there any way to turn this down? It's so cold. We can turn it off. Um, if it's too hard putting that on, don't worry about it. Seems like it's off. It's off. We're too cold here on pitch night. On pitch Guys, night, if you do have a pitch, let, let, let's remind them, because this is the essential reason the show was established, for pitches. If you do have a pitch for a TV show or film, or a pellicula, pellicula, uh, then please follow the Flickr. scan the QR code on the screen or follow the link in the description. Um, that will take you through the pitch process. Um, there, there's just one submission required. Look at that. Um, and then win $10 AUD. I can't look at it. So BB the Quiet and Baron, PT Proxy Hatch is Panasonic, R Murphy Goes Madison. Awesome. Madison. Yep. What? What? Uh, go on discord.gg slash capital X NDZ 7 capital F E S 4 R. Recap. Submit your answers. Okay, should we go to a break and come back? Love breaks. On pitch night. Hello, welcome back to pitch night, premiere TV show and films. Uh, stream right here on Kick and Twitch and later on YouTube, Morgan. By the way, if you're interested in uh, advertising on, <laughs> on Pitch Night, oh, it's very you've ambitious. noticed we have a number of breaks. <laughs> if you want in those breaks for us to advertise. You don't even need to pay us. Products or service, just <laughs> DM us on Pitch or, no, not Pitch, Twitch and Kick and uh, Twitter or uh, Discord, any of the above. And just tell us what you want Words. to say. We'll say anything. They Pay are us our any amount of money and we'll say whatever you want. We have no... Yeah, we know we can't command anything monetarily. So no. we're happy to take... Yeah, anything um... you want. <laughs> whatever you want. We have no limits. Happy to take any kind of promotion you want to 
That's basically it, just us. Uh, Black Friday's coming up. Okay. Today. Is it Black Friday today? Is it the same everywhere? Is it the same date everywhere? Yeah. Really? It's an American thing, and then everyone else just comes to America. In fact, there's been a bunch of things where it's like, hey, Black Friday is on. And I didn't know when Black Friday was on, so that was not a helpful thing for anyone else. Okay. They should have put the date. But you do know it's on. I do now because we I'm, I'm, we've got an American coming over and staying with me. Okay. Right. That's how I know. Right. But Thanksgiving was yesterday, although it's today because today is Thursday. So it goes Thanksgiving straight into Black, Black Friday. Friday? Yeah. That's interesting. And apparently it's so the Black Friday. We are so thankful for everything you have. Yeah. We have we, to get we more. Have more. We and need. Black Friday starts because Thanksgiving goes until 11.59. So at 12 a.m. it is Black Friday. So in fact, the Black Friday sales start at midnight. What was that? What? The Black Friday sales start at midnight. Okay, yep. The, the night of oh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. No, this so can't be true. Can we look this up? I want to... So people do their Thanksgiving dinner, then they go have a nap, and then they go to the shops because the shops are open at midnight to start the Black Friday sales. So what is the point of Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is thankful for... Is it like something about Giving successfully... Thanks. Some successful movement through rural area? Is that correct? Or is that way off? Maybe I got... I know there's turkey involved. <laughs> Celebrating the harvest. Oh, it's harvest related. Okay, so I'm totally off. I think I conflated it with like... Colonization. Um, I thought it had something to do with... 40 like, days in the desert or something. <laughs> like Lent. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... That seems like such a... It doesn't seem to have enough substance. Like a distinct enough event for a holiday. But that may be just by 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 the by. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, yeah. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving elsewhere. No, but we do. I guess that makes sense. It would be Black Friday, apparently. It would be weird to be thankful for another country's harvest. <laughs> yeah, especially when our seasons were the opposite. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense. We're thankful for the harvest that we did six months ago. We are very thankful for the prosper. Okay. Anyway, let's let's, let's on. move on. Moving yeah. on. Yeah. Should we do a pitch? I haven't done a pitch. Do you want to do a pitch? Not really. Do you want to do a pitch? Not really. All right, let's move on. Okay. It's such a... Uh, Rapid fire. It's such a... Yeah. To, for explanation, we have um, historically had pitches uh, in the past, but... Yeah, other people um, have pitched us on this show. You could too. Scan the QR code. Basically, we've been doing our own don't pitches. Shut, no, we don't. Um, and it's rough. <laughs> it's, it's difficult to sustain. Giving away the secret sauce yeah. to our yeah. fame. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. That's so disappointing. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, so, should we do a pitch? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. You want to go? Uh, yes. I'll, yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to go take a pitch. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can do... Is this possible? Is this... You're going to mess it up. Is this possible? Where are the cameras? I'm probably probably not worth it. Go on. Spring rain. Hello. Uh, what the crumbs? They just like, have a mind of their own. Okay, not not really any different whatsoever. Spring Hello rain. and welcome. Hello. To uh, not even sent it. Pitch night. What's your pitch? Uh, hi there. Do you want to know my name first? No. Okay. Just pitch. Don't worry about the name. Okay. Uh, so you guys were talking about holidays earlier. We were. Uh, this is a pitch that I have. Um, it's another reality TV show. Let's I'm... go to a break. Come straight back. <laughs> no, you just want to go straight. Okay. Well, it's, it's your show. <laughs> no, no, you. you I can keep going. Okay. I, I just thought um, it would make sense to have a transition, a break, but um, do you want we are already partway through the pitch. <laughs> it's a weird timing. Okay, continue. I like your pitch start. Very nice. All right, so this pitch uh, does have one little hitch in, uh, and that, that is that it does need the government's support. Oh, my camera is shocking. <laughs> in what way does it need the camera? In, in what way does it need the government's support? Uh, so this is a reality TV show. Uh, where we have 12 contestants and uh, each of these contestants has to submit an idea for a new public holiday. Okay. The winning public holiday gets made into a real public holiday by the government of Australia. 
Mm. Permanent holiday. Okay. Are we going to have Thanksgiving in March? So okay. this um, is obviously trading off from a previous idea, which was a uh, a um, entrep- entrepreneur uh, reality show. Um, but the difference with this one is it doesn't have the substance of that show because um, the, there is no nothing to the process of, that you can show or watch or see in coming up with a holiday concept versus trying to establish a business. Trying to establish a business, lots of decisions, takes a lot of time. Well, we don't have that here with this pitch. Well, you do, because the way that they pick the winning public holiday... Okay, yep, sorry. Is, jumped in too early, maybe. It's a, it's a fight to the death. Okay. The last man stands. The last... Now, we've been accused of being overly critical <laughs> of our last uh, previous pitches on this show. I don't think we can criticise this one enough. Uh, I can't believe the flat price we're getting, to be honest, given are you come on we here with this pitch. The last minute. You know standing. what Bryce got and you, you their feel... public holiday gets made into official public holiday. Okay, well just random. Just just <laughs> completely random. Um, I'm not a fan, uh, which is rare, I don't usually say they that. They get to pick one weapon at the start and also <laughs> one public holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing what? their weapon must be associated with the theme of their public holiday I choose my holiday is called bazooka <laughs> bazooka barnyard action celebration of bazookas okay well great that was good um, I think it's possible we've become more critical of pitches as we've gone on yeah, I thought that but was I think, a pitch. You seem very, very critical of that one. This is definitely... Do you have some <laughs> constructive criticism instead of just, you know, shitting all over my idea? Well, as I suggested, I thought it was a bit uh, superficial, a bit thin, not much there to explore. Um, you tacked on the killing people. Have you heard about the sandwich approach? You know, give a compliment and then a, a criticism and then a compliment? I don't believe in it. <laughs> I don't believe in it. Let's get to brass tacks. You're, you're, a grown, you're a grown person, maybe. I'm not. You were supposed to be 18. Have a deep voice. Okay, anyway. All right, well, thank you very much for your pitch. Shall we end it there? No. Okay, well, and on pitch night. Guys, if you do have a pitch, um, you can beat that. You cannot not beat that. $100 could be yours. Um, I thought that was a stunning pitch. Okay. Look, um, here's the real question. Yep. Well, two real questions. First question is, how much money did did the Super Mario Brothers make? 1.36 billion dollars. That's how much money that movie made. Now, that movie sucked. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Can you make something that is slightly better than the Super Mario Brothers movie? Easily. Will you make more than 1.36 million, sorry, billion dollars? Impossibly. Absolutely. What? Absolutely. If you can make something better than Super Mario's Brother movie, uh, you will make more than 1.36 billion dollars. And I think that that TV show has more promise than the Super Mario Brothers movie. Mm, maybe. Barnyard Bazooka Day? <laughs> I would love for that to be the next National Australian Public Holiday. Every year we have a day off of Barnyard Bazooka Day. Yeah. Thanks to Jimmy Barnyard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, very good. Um, you seem less enthusiastic than I am. You yeah. want to move on. Should we go to a break? Let's go to a break. break. Yeah. On pitch night. Guys, pitch night. <laughs> God. Hello, welcome back to pitch night. <laughs> I have to use my periphery to see when Morgan actually cooks it, but okay. Do you welcome want to back. another break? Um, on pitch night. On pitch night, welcome back. Gosh, wish we could hear those transitions. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? Are there sounds associated with them? There are sounds associated with them. Oh. I think they can be painful sometimes, apologies. Um, we got five minutes left. We do, six. Um, should we recap? I love I love a good Rock recap. Busters. I love a good recap. Or should I give a pitch? Repetition. And we also repetition is the key to success. Yes. Repetition. So is here... the key to success. Here's my question to you: Should I pitch? Repetition. And if so, should I pitch before we do the recap yeah, of the no, Rock I Busters? Yeah, I think you should pitch before. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do this, guys. I'm sorry for what follows, but it only seems fair that if Morgan pitches, I should pitch too. 
That's actually a good um, way to get us to pitch. If one of us pitches, the other one has to pitch. I like that. And so, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Off you go. Do you want to um, do a transition? Welcome back to pitch. <laughs> Welcome back to pitch now. We're accepting calls. We are accepting calls. Um, no damage. Um. <laughs> It's very strange that my ringtone changes every time. I thought I had control over that. Hello. 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 Who Hello. am I speaking to? Are you still there? You're speaking to Frankie. Frankie. Wonderful name. Love the name. What's your pitch? Frankie Crouch. Yeah. Frankie Crouch. What's your pitch? I'm a Tyler. You're a Tyler. Great. What's your pitch? What's a Tyler? Let's get straight into it. What's your pitch? My pitch is this. Yep. Are you still there? You're gonna have to speak up, Frankie. We're, we're struggling to hear you. Sorry, I, I, I found some tiles I liked. Yeah, are I'm you distracted? Are you a little bit nervous, oh, Frankie? A little bit nervous. It happens to everyone. The first time is the hardest. Just go dive right in the deep end. What's it, pitch? What's it called? There's this tile. There's a tile. And everyone's fighting for it. It's the golden tile. The golden tile. Give me the tile! Give me the tile! <laughs> Just... They start fighting each other. Give me the tile! And everyone's like, why do... It's on mind control. This tile has everyone under. What's, what's so weird about this tile? It's gold. We know that. Egyptian! From the pharaohs! A curse placed on the tile from a young woman. The rope was cut short. By the savageness of a person, of a man who is dating her, courting her. But his soul would be fused into the tile. What is this about? I got no idea. Frankie, what is this about? Frankie Crouch. Just, just to clarify, we're not looking for a reenactment. This has been That's my pitch. This has been confusion on. There's been some, there's some confusion on previous pitches, and I think we had a pre, uh, some confusion on that pitch. We are stop. We pitching. don't want reenactments. We, we, we don't want reenactments. We don't want script readings. Guys, go to just to pitch the show. What's it about? What are the characters' names? What's the plot? What's the genre? Go back to some who's of the directing it? Earlier episodes. What's the cast? We actually Which do okay with like our doing. pictures. Is it a TV show? Is it a cartoon? Or right, got... is it a movie? It's about time. It's about time. Um, shall we recap Brockless? We actually did okay pictures earlier, but they've really gone downhill. They since. have gone terribly. And we've had a break since we've last pitched, and they that break did not help us. No. Okay, so Brockbusters, shall we shall we go a quick break? Recap Brockbusters. Break. Oh, we're back. Back on pitch night. So quick. BB, the Quiet and Baron. CT, Proxy Hatch, this Panasonic. R, Murphy Goes, Madison. Those are the Brockbusters. Guys, thank you for tuning in to pitch night. Yeah. Eric, welcome aboard. Welcome to the exciting ride. Apologies. This is just episode 23. We are just getting stuck. Welcome aboard. Sorry about the messy thing. <laughs> that messiness on our... Uh, Oh. We're going to an outro because that was atrocious. Goodbye and good night. Oh shit, this fucking camera. Oh, pitch night. Are we still. Oh yeah, the microphone's still working. How oh. long does this. Pitch night? How long does the outro one go for? You should be able to see. Uh, Where do I see? <clears throat> I definitely don't see. Wait. What? Where does... How long does this go for? You just you just kill it when you. Oh, kill it goes it. for like a minute roughly, and then I switch the uh, outro to the place like five seconds, and then I kill it. That's right. Oh, you put the chat on my head. Not intentionally. I got domed. Yeah. Um, guys, great thank to you see for, you uh, tuning in. Thanks for your attention and. Uh... Thanks for your attention. <laughs> Where's this an announcement? Till next time on Pitch Night. Bye.